How do you make a devlog? How do you make a video about game development? What can you learn from the biggest devlog creators on YouTube? Well, since I watch a lot of devlogs and also got a few on my own channel, I decided to tell you something about this topic. Let's get started! Hello guys, I am Genesius and in today's video I'm gonna tell you something about making devlogs. I'll cover the entire process in an order that seems the most logical to me. Now let's start with the first step, which is coming up with an idea. So what should we make the devlog about? It should be something that would be enjoyable for us creators as well as for the viewers. Most of the devlog videos are about participating in a game jam, creating a game based on something trending or a game based on a viewer's suggestion or maybe just some random idea that is interesting enough to make a video about. Whatever you want to do, it's only up to you. Now that we have an idea, it's time to make the game itself and get some materials for the video. When it comes to recording, I would recommend capturing everything you can, so you don't get to a situation like Oh, I wish I recorded that. You can also make some recordings of yourself with a webcam, which is a thing a lot of game devs do. I haven't slept in three days. Uh, uh, code. A lot of code. Uh, uh. I wanna commit die. Uh. For recording the screen, most people use OBS Studio, which is probably the best option out there. But when I started making my videos, which was like 3 months ago, I had a really low specs laptop, so I used Xbox Game Bar, which is a Windows built-in recording program you can open by pressing Windows plus G. However, it can only record one window at a time. Anyway, when you've recorded everything you need, I recommend going through and through naming the video files one by one with a number in a chronological order and a title describing what is happening in the video. And finally, it's time to write a script for the voiceover, which is a thing you definitely should work on a bit, because you have to keep some structure in the video and also make it not boring. That means that you shouldn't talk about all the things you did and explain all the code you wrote. And when you get to explain it, explain it briefly. Talk about 3D modeling, graphic design and anything that could be interesting for the viewer. For a game dev especially, there's also a challenge not to spoil the whole game you're making. And don't forget to talk about some fails in the process and how you fix them. Also, don't forget to tell some jokes. Time frame, I went from knowing almost nothing about Unreal Engine to... Better than you do, you little f but since you have to kill five of them, I made them pretty easy to fight so you can collect all of the rocks without- <coughs> So, uh, I'm, I might have made them a bit too hard. Now, as the voiceover is written down, we will have to record it. For that, we need a microphone and recording software. The second one is quite easy, because Audacity exists. But for the microphone, it's up to you which one you decide to use. Anyway, it has to sound somewhat acceptable. I'm a student on budget, so I use a Marvel Mic 3 microphone that sounds good and cost me under 50 bucks. But you can easily get away with only using your smartphone mic. There's a link to a tutorial about editing voiceover in Audacity in the description. Now we've got everything, we can record some additional footage standing in front of a green screen, something like Danny does. Anyway, it's time for editing. For that, you need video editing software. Most of the YouTubers out there probably use Adobe Premiere Pro. But if you're on a budget and your editing skills aren't that good, I recommend using something free and simple. Personally, I use Shotcut, which is a very good free editor with all the things you need. You shouldn't expect some special visual effects, but when it comes to editing, it is fairly good. There's also a tutorial on editing in Shotcut in the description. Now it's time for some editing tips I found devloggers use a lot. First one is zooming. When you have a static image and you want it to look more interesting, just add a zooming effect to it. Second one is using transitions. It can make the video more smooth. Third one is using sound effects. Can you imagine this scene without them? Fourth one is silence for jokes. When you tell a joke, just keep every other thing silent, except for some sound effects. And after spending a bit more time than I would like to admit, we now have a bean with, with glasses and uh, a jetpack. Fifth tip is that when you have nothing to show, just use the footage of the actual game and say what you need to say while showing it. You can use it if you don't want to just have a white background. 
Number 6. Text showing what you're saying. Just don't use it all the time. Number 7 are simulations. They make the viewer understand the topic more. And finally number 8. Use time lapses. You'll also probably need some background music. Fortunately, there's a lot of royalty free music out there. But if I can recommend something, it's music by a composer named Context Sensitive, aka Evan King. His music is completely free and you just have to credit him in the description. Now the video is done. Really important things to work on are thumbnail and title. The title should be short and interesting and it can also be a little bit clickbait. However, you shouldn't lie. The thumbnail should be colorful and should attract the viewer's attention. A lot of people use red arrows or yellow text, which is something that for example The Simpsons had to use. Now that your thumbnail is done, it's time to upload the video on YouTube. Two tips I would like to share. I remember that a famous Twitch streamer Ludwig in one of his videos mentioned that naming your thumbnail final helps the video and he also mentions this. Some of the keywords inside of the file name as you're uploading it, I believe that YouTube will use that information. You also shouldn't forget to put some timestamps and some hashtags in the description, like for example hashtag devlog. And this is it. This is how you make a devlog. But maybe you're wondering, what would actual creators recommend to the beginners? I would advise anyone who's making their first devlog to try and find their own style. It can be tricky to find something that works for you and your game, but I almost always prefer seeing a more unique join video over a meme filled one. I think most important things for a devlog video would be understanding what audience you have or want to have. Having great pacing that works well for your audience. Usually fast paced stuff works better, but depending on who watches your video there are probably different requirements. Finding your unique voice. There are so many devlog channels by now that it's probably extremely useful to just be weird or memorable in some way. Let your personality shine. I'd say it's important to express progress, not perfection. I think a lot of people want to do devlogs but burn out before they ever get to publishing one. Thanks for watching, I hope this video will help you. If it had, please like it and share it with other people. Also, did you know there are 7 billion and 753 million people on this planet? and only 19 of them are subscribed to this channel. Crazy, right? So what are you waiting for? Join the club! Also, as information for my fans, there won't be any video next month, because I'm working on something bigger. However, I will post every Tuesday on my Instagram a photo with the hashtag, hashtag Genesis so stay tuned for that. That's all from me, so have a good time!